dudes, uh, what is happening? I am back from uh, my Red Dead Redemption 2 vacation. <laughs> I've been programming a lot more, getting back into it. Unfortunately, uh, programming indie games, I, I don't get to do a lot of time-lapse art stuff for my YouTube channel lately. But I did do a lot of programming in this last week. In fact, I've made strides with the Ikeda game. And I wanted to just kind of share a little bit of the process with uh, Magnus here. Magnus is the big purple dragon dude standing next to Iggy. He's the small fry with the red hair. And uh, how do I go about doing an animation uh, with uh, with with uh, these characters or with these parts from a Photoshop file? Well, it's a complicated process, which I have hidden a tutorial behind a nifty paywall over in my Gumroad channel. That's how I make my living. But for here, I will try to explain it the best way I can. It breaks down to Photoshop has a way of working with frames, as you can see here. And you can do what's called tweening in between those frames. So if you want to interpolate the position of a layer between, say, frame one and frame nine, you can do that. You can also switch on or switch off layers if, for example, you want a particular frame to look very different, as in something is turning or rotating. So here you can kind of see how I've got a lot of the different parts on different layers and then they kind of in between the motion of their positional translation as I've tweened them. So for example, if his arm uh, with the cigar is uh, at, a, at a certain position in frame one, I can be in between that to the position that I might want it in frame nine, for example, and it'll do the smooth mo uh, motion in between those. Now, in order to do such a thing, you've got to cut up all your parts into different layers. So you got every finger, every glow, every hair part, uh, all on its own layer so that you can move those and then figure out where the animation just looks blocky and then smooth that out. To animate the tail, I had to do custom frames and then switch on each layer uh, as I progressed through the timeline frames. So what I was doing is using the uh, filter liquify tool to create a little bit of motion in between each frame. And then when you repeat them or when you run them in the cycle, they kind of get this implication of a smooth motion. And since we're this whole thing ends up being kind of a low uh, pixel resolution anyway, it, it, it doesn't turn out too shabby. It's not a high level of polished animation though. This ain't like some Studio Ghibli stuff going on. Once I've got all the basic big movements in place, I turn to the details. And I found it's easier to just focus on one part at a time. So in this case, I just keep playing back that tail and figuring out, oh, is that too much of a jump between this frame or the next frame? And then if it's too much of a jump, I create another alternate frame in between that just has little slight movement in between those two so it doesn't look as jumpy. A little tip for you guys, if you're doing your own little idle animations in Photoshop like this, if you want something to feel a little bit heavier, delay its upward motion by about one to two frames. So for instance, his head starts moving up one frame before the rest of his hair starts to move up. And uh, that creates a little bit of like a bob and you'll see it uh, in the buckles as well by the time we get to the end of the animation. Since it's going to be low resolution pixel art, I think he's only going to be about 110 pixels tall. I got to simplify some of the art so you can see that back leg ends up getting almost to become like a solid color. Here you can see it at the actual <laughs> resolution. It looks weird when you zoom in on it like that. Uh, and it would look so much sexier if it was all high res, but man, that's a lot of work and it would be, I'd have to be a lot of different animation. I'd have to hire a whole animation studio to animate this thing. Uh, if I did it in high resolution, I just can't swing that, man. I'm already thousands of dollars in debt, taking out a second mortgage on my home. I sold my Cintiq, sold the clothes off my back to make an indie game. Oh my God. But dudes, in all seriousness, um, this game means a lot to me. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, all I ever really, really wanted to do was make video games. And now I can make indie games. And I really want you guys to be a part of this. Uh, the little prototype demo that I made for Aikida, the Scrap Hunter EP, went over really well. Great response, great feedback from everybody who uh, picked it up. And of course, you know, it supplements my income and keeps me afloat to be able to do this sort of a thing. Uh, the more people can pick it up. So dudes, uh, please share it around and let people know. I'm still adding cool new features like fly on the javelin and maybe even freaking robots man you can pilot mechs in this game blow up stuff it's so cool anyway dudes uh of course i can't wait to see you in the next video i will catch you all manyanda bon and ciao baby oh yeah that's not too bad